A Smith County jailer is getting a different view of the cell doors. 29-year-old Keenan Allison Jr. is behind bars after the Smith County Sheriff's Office caught him giving contraband to inmates. Allison started working for the Sheriff's Office in May of 2012. This is the third employee Sheriff Larry Smith has arrested since his election. New tonight, we looked back at those arrests and how Sheriff Smith is keeping up with his campaign promises. I'm going to hold the not only the law enforcement officers, but detention officers of the Smith County Sheriff's Office to a higher standard than the general public. Smith County Jailer Brandon Owens was the first employee affected by Sheriff Smith's mission. Owens was arrested in January 2013 for assaulting a man on Christmas night. He no longer works for the Sheriff's Office. And regardless of who it is, they, everyone needs to be treated the same. Sheriff Smith uh, continued his crusade for transparency by arresting Deputy Kimbrick Jones. Jones was charged with selling methamphetamines and cocaine out of his patrol car. At the time, Larry Smith told us he heard rumors about Jones' drug dealing as soon as he took office and immediately started an investigation. Today, he said those investigations should always be expected. We will not move a problem. We will not transfer a problem. We will not just simply terminate somebody's employment that has done something unlawful. We will conduct a criminal investigation. We will ask that the district attorney's office prosecute that individual to whatever the statutes allow. Keenan Allison is the latest detention officer arrested and charged on the job. Sheriff Smith says Allison was under investigation for the last six weeks. That investigation revealed Allison gave tobacco and a cell phone to a Smith County inmate. He was also charged with possession of marijuana. Things like this didn't just start happening on January 1st of 2013. Sheriff Smith says he'll continue to treat his employees equally and consistently if they're found breaking the law. The man charged with